Hi, thanks for joining me on the Jim Sapphire channel. If you're new, welcome. So I wanted to, to do a review on a couple of products from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics line. I purchased some of them at the Morphe store in Brea Mall, and then also Beautylish recently had a sale. So the first item that I wanted to discuss was his Velour Lip Scrub. I purchased this in pineapple juice. So it has a nice scent, and I also like that the, the scrub itself isn't too rough. I would say the consistency is similar to sugar, like literally sugar. So, there's no some scrubs, when you put them on, they, it, it feels more like really thick salt, and that doesn't feel so pleasant. And then one of the palettes that I bought when I was at the Morphe store was his Mini Breaker. I just think his packaging is, is so fun and vibrant. The actual palette itself is a, it's a white. So in it you get a little mirror and nine colors. And some of them are matte, metallic, matte, metallic, and uh, one's a little holographic. So I had a chance to actually use, do a few looks with this palette. And the one that I currently have on my eyes is using this holographic oral, this uh, purple punch, and this metallic bite me on the end more. I And the other two looks that I did was a pink look and an orange look. So uh, the pink look I did was with the bubble gum. And then on the outer corner, I put the foreplay. And then with the orange look, I put the um, double double scoop in the inner inner corners, and the orange crush on the lid and the outer corner with a slice. I found that the uh, best look truly what was the purple one, it, which is what I currently have on my lids. It stands out, and also I noticed towards the end of the day the the purple colors lasted a lot longer. Yeah, that pink started to fade towards the end of the day. So let me just, I guess, swatch a few of the colors. Mm. Do the top row. So on my arm is the is the top row. So the so the double scoop, orange crush, and four play are all mats, but there is a little bit of a glitter just, just a hint of glitter with the orange crush the middle color so you can you can see these colors are very uh, fun and vibrant so let me do the uh, the middle row I really like that holographic color oral it's very pretty and then the uh, here's the middle row Starting right here, the oral, the purple punch, and then the uh, slice, which is the metallic. So I'm tanned, and you can see the colors are still very, um, really do pop on my skin. Let's go ahead and do the last row. There's the last row, starting right here. The bubble gum, the metallic bite me, and the, um, the matte hodgepodge. So I would say this palette um, it blends well, and the, the colors are very vibrant. So if you're wanting a color that pops, um, I mean, a look that pops with fun colors, definitely, I, I would I'd say pick up this palette. But um, don't, I guess the con about it 
is definitely it's not all inclusive. So in my look, I I still um, had to use another palette, the Tarte Tartlet, just so I could have a transition color and a brow color to go with it. And then in the uh, Beauty Lush sale that they had recently, I went I purchased the Platinum Ice, the Skin Frost Pro Palette. So these are pretty big um, sizes, but um, six highlighting, highlighted, highlighting colors, yes. Um, so Ice Cove is white, Glacier is silver, Lavender Snow is uh, Malabu, um, Alien Ice. I actually haven't tried this yet, but this is, um, in the palette, it looks like a very pale, maybe green or yellow, um, Pink Chill and Canary Bling. So one thing I would say uh, with these colors, these highlighters, they are very, they're very, for anyone who wants like definite pop with your highlighter. I mean, anyone who wants to be seen, because it does not take much um, application to see the highlighter. So it's not, so definitely not for someone who wants a more subtle look. So let me go ahead and swatch these. Also, it would also would not be something if you wanted more of um, like a gold undertone. All these, you know, as the name implies, is a frost. So definitely more like um, lighter, lighter color when on, upon applic you know undertone you apply. But he does have other highlighter palettes that more are on the gold tone. So I'm trying my best here because <laughs> these swatches are, are starting to look kind of uh, haphazard. So here, here's the here's the white one, the the ice code, the glacier is the silver one, the lavender, which is lavender snow. Um, yeah, the alien ice, you do see some of the green. And then here's the uh, pink chill and the canary bling. So on my face right now, I have the glacier um, on the bridge of my nose. And then underneath my eyes, I have the lavender snow. And then the last item that I purchased from, so I, I would say, yes, um, it's I, that's also a yes for uh, to the highlighters if you don't mind a little bit of pop, if you, you know, if, or you could say glow, a bright glow. Uh, so the last item is the um, Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. I purchased it in Designer Blood. So that's what I have on right now. I mean, definitely, it, it, it does have a doe, doe foot, and the consistency is like creamy. I chose to use my Morphe lip brush just to put it on because red can be a tricky color. Now that it's um, I've applied it, it has it's kind of dried down to a dry consistency. I'm trying to see if it shows up on my finger at all. Yeah, I mean for the most part it's, it's sticking, um, sticking on my um, lips, but. But definitely is not going to feel like a, a lipstick if that's your preference. And, and oh, okay, so that's my review on Jeff, the Jeffree Star products that I purchased. So his highlighter, his eyeshadow palette, his liquid lipstick, and his uh, lip scrub. I would say it, it's a fun line. I, I so far I would probably purchase again. You know, all the products that I've right on so far. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, review of uh, Jeffree Star's products and I hope to see you next time.